Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Our goal in Madden 21 is to deliver complete control to our players on both sides of the ball. Liar! Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another Madden 21 preview, a little bit of a reaction video. Uh, I'm going to break down. EA put out another gameplay trailer. The reaction from the first gameplay trailer was so bad that they, they basically hit the panic button. They, they had to go in emergency mode and they had to create an entire new gameplay trailer to try to, to swing the narrative back uh, to a somewhat positive narrative for the for the new uh, game coming out, Madden 21. Uh, ultimately, it worked a little bit. I mean, it didn't work enough, in my opinion. You can still see the like ratio is not nearly what you want it to be. I mean, I know as a video creator that my like ratio for an average of my entire channel is about 96 to 97 percent thumbs up to thumbs down. This is almost one for one. So it's like, yeah, they 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 polished it a little bit better. They brought out a little bit more information in this new trailer. I still think a lot of people. I think the people giving thumbs up to this new trailer are getting a little bit snowed here. I don't think you guys are really Really reading between the lines like I said EA made a little bit of an attempt but I think it's a little too little too late I mean this game could be doomed it could be it could be DOA it could be dead or it could be dead on arrival because uh, this reminds me a lot of when Call of Duty put out that one that was like in space and 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 the trailer came out and they were like oh my and everybody hated it and it forced call of duty to really make a lot of changes which you're seeing now now they have like free to play games and uh you know overall they basically had to overhaul they had to go right back to world war one and modern warfare and all that stuff so to me if this game comes out and just bombs the way that i think it could um then i think ea is gonna have to seriously look in the mirror and, and figure out what they're doing because a lot of people like myself try to make a living off of madden so they need to make a better product than this all new defensive line mechanics to make playing as a pass rusher both more responsive and more fun to play so the first thing that they're talking about here is is they they updated or upgraded uh some of the defensive line mechanics when you use or a defensive player so if you're using a defensive tackle or defensive end um that's that could be i mean for the most part, uh, newer players, maybe less experienced players, typically do that because it's a little less responsibility because some people aren't comfortable in coverage, uh, which is understandable. If you're not good at coverage, a lot of times uh, you can really make uh, coverage worse than it is and you can get smoked for a big play because you're not you know you're not confident in coverage so a lot of people that are afraid of doing that and making big mistakes will use their defensive line players so when they talk about how they upgraded or updated or whatever they want to term it uh, the defensive line abilities and mechanics they're once again you know they, they typically try to reach the the broader audience so in this scenario they're, they're trying to reach out to players that aren't very good uh, and they're basically giving them something that they can basically try to have an overpowered defense without actually learning how to play linebacker or safety which i don't think is necessarily i, I got a feeling that when the game comes out this is going to be overpowered because there was things like that in every mad and every man when it comes out there's usually something new that they didn't really tweak or adjust enough and it's completely overpowered to start so i have a feeling that that's exactly what's going to happen here with this defensive line mechanic i think a lot of people are going to be using this and it's going to be just knocking people over and you're going to be getting instant sacks and it's going to be really annoying and it'll be a little while before they fix it it'll probably be to the first patch till they fix it Control on the offensive side of the ball is also getting an overhaul in Madden 21 with the skill stick ball carrier system. So the second thing that they highlight uh, in this video is uh, like total control uh, when it comes to running the ball. Um, as if over, if, as if running wasn't overpowered enough. Um, this is another thing I, I really think it's lip service. I mean, they, they highlight two main running back moves that they added to the game, which once again, anytime they add something, they don't balance it very well, so it's typically overpowered to start. Uh, the first one they call a jurdle, which I don't know what the hell that means, uh, but it's like a juke and a hurdle at the same time. I mean, like I said, if you master the, when, I mean, I know when the game comes out, I'm going to look for these moves. I'm going to try to master them because, like I said, typically they're overpowered right to start. So that's, I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm not much of a runner, but, you know, like I said, that's, that's something that if running's overpowered again, maybe I'll do that again this year. 
Uh, I'll talk about the running in a minute because it sounds like in the next portion that they are trying to address how overpowered it was, but we'll get on to that. So as far as the journal, uh, which was the first thing that they mentioned, and the dead leg, which was the second thing that they mentioned, um, both of which, by the way, uh, I mean, the, the, the dead leg reminds me, there used to be like an instant stop move that was really overpowered a couple of minutes ago. And this is That's probably going to be like, the dead leg's probably going to be just like that, where, where players go running past the second you hit that dead leg. Um, but... You know, the second you the second you can figure out these moves, I'm sure people are going to be abusing them until they tone them down as well. Um, but you know, it's really they're trying to make it sound like there's some total control change to the running back uh, abilities. It's the same as it's always been. That's what it sounds like to me. Maybe like five Maddens ago, when they first, uh, I think they started using a new engine. Uh, they were they were comparing running the football in Madden to being uh like putting together combos in like mortal Kombat or like fighting games that's what they wanted it to be and this is the exact same thing they're saying now a couple of years later where it's the same thing i mean it's, it sounds like they're trying to make it sound like um they really made some new uh, additions but in reality it just sounds like you can boil it down to the two running back moves that they're adding that's really what it is and they even went further to say that only the top running backs are going to have access to these moves which you know that can be i mean there's a lot of guys that i could consider a top running back so who knows uh, what's actually considered a top running back or who will have these moves. But you can eliminate that being part of uh, the majority of receivers' repertoire. So I guess receivers and stuff like that aren't going to be able to do these overpowered moves, the dead leg and the jurtle. So that's something that, you know, at least, I mean, unless there's, you know, maybe Tyreek Hill will be able to or something like that. Maybe there's certain receivers that will have that ability. But it mostly sounds like it's restricted to running backs and the running backs, um, you know, only elite running backs. But like I said, I can name 10, 15 running backs that I think I could say that could possibly be elite. So we'll have to see where that goes. Now, as far as the defensive There's side of the ball, like I said, running with overpowered in that the first and being a they much more aware of it. So they immediately go the from talking about to the new the running play. mechanics to uh, basically new tackling mechanics and how they're, they're uh, they basically say they're going to tone down the running this year because they use this as a way of comparing it to running to say that it's this is going to be meant to slow it down. So ultimately, um, I think that uh, there might be a little bit more auto tackling. I think we're going to see animation. Uh, where basically, I mean, you could do this already. If you watch my gameplay videos, I basically would just strafe before I actually made a safe tackle, which is double tapping the A button or X button, depending on what system you're on. I was doing that already. It sounds like they're kind of working that to do that for you now, um, which, you know, might, once again, they're, they're playing up to the larger crowd. They're playing up to, um, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the community that is more of a casual player so they can feel more comfortable playing this game uh, against, you know, obviously better players just like the defensive end mechanics or the defensive line mechanics and i don't necessarily have a problem with it because they do need to balance this game out i'm a passer i pass pretty much all year with the exception of you know certain playbooks i would use i would run more often but the running was ridiculously op in this game uh it was to the point where competitive players would just run the ball non-stop and that couldn't be further from the truth of what the nfl is today so they need to get this game back to a better passing game because it's more reflective of the actual nfl some of the biggest updates we'll see is in the overall authenticity and presentation of each game eliminating immersion breakers making gameplay more authentic and realistic you'll see players keeping their momentum as they run out of bounds reaching for extra effort first downs and diving for end zone pylons making those key moments even more authentic and then the next thing they talk about, which they don't actually term it this way because they know. They know that we hate this. They basically uh, discuss the many ways that the animations are going to be more authentic, which is essentially, once again, triggered animations that players don't want. So, like I said, they don't use that term because they know we hate that, but they're still working it into the game. So they talk about things like, you know, innocent things like uh, players' momentum will carry them out of bounds or something like that, which obviously nobody really cares. But then they say something to the effect of players fighting for more yards, which is going to piss people off because, let's be honest, there's times where you make a play, it's third and one, you make a play, but for some reason the player falls forward for five yards and you're like, what the hell? And then last but not least, they talk about uh, some additions that they made to the celebration system. Uh, they actually asked the specific question, who doesn't love a good celebration to rub it in your opponent's face? I don't. I personally could care less 
about the celebrations. I thought that when they added touchdown celebrations uh, a couple of years ago, that it was it was somewhat pointless. I don't celebrate before I score. I don't celebrate after. Uh, if you choose not to celebrate, it still comes up with like its own version of a celebration anyway. That just com feels completely unnecessary. And celebrations after plays are already in the game. You just don't have any choice over it. So in closing to end this video, I don't really feel like any of these things were really new to the game. I mean, they've made really good. Like last year, they added all the X factors. That was a really big change that was a really big move that they made and a lot of people don't like it but that was something that they added that's something that's like yeah you can see they really added something big there this just seems like tweaks you know what i mean like this is all stuff that feels like it's already in the game it's already a part of the game some of it you don't want in the game but ultimately it just feels like they're tweaking it a little bit uh but they really need to wake up and, and start making some serious changes to this game hopefully starting next year which probably is something i'm gonna be saying for the rest of my life but it is what it is. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.